We're going back to basics because food is expensive and we have a lot of people to feed over the summer. One of my favorite things about hosting is being able to welcome people into my home and make meals for them. Years ago in a different season, I probably would have said that feeding people in my home was incredibly overwhelming and sometimes it still is. But one of my favorite things is pulling a meal together with something super simple that we all grew up on. When I say grew up on, I mean it. I've known my sister-in-law since I was about 12 years old. And while we seem to have traded out our freestyle music for conversation and hot cheetos and Mountain Dew for a chorizo and egg to feed our thousands of children, it's these moments that I cherish when we come together and have deep conversations about life and interject dark jokes and trauma bond over parenthood while wrangling too many children that we once discussed having in our youth. Our lives are nothing alike. Our backgrounds are different, and even the way we drink our coffee is different. We used to joke that the only reason why we were able to be friends was because we were the only girls in the neighborhood. And while that may have been true for a season, we're literally choosing to be in each other's lives. And that's so meaningful because our girls are growing up together and we made cousins. While I still believe that our differences outweigh our similarities, the things that bring us together are the reasons why our friendship has always worked. The transition from best friend to sister-in-law was not easy. And while there were even seasons filled with grief and sadness, it feels very full circle to be able to be sharing in the same meal we once shared after a very big argument that caused her brothers and our friends to hang their heads down and sit in silence as we worked it out. Food is a great equalizer, and I hope you're well-fed and it brings you back to the people that you love. So go heat up some tortillas, chorizo, and egg. We have meals to make.